In the Jungle Awakens patch, the Soul build went through a lot of different changes. I'll put all the patches on screen as I'm using the items so you can see what changed. Now let's get into all the artifacts. The Torment Quiver sucks before and after the patch, that's all I need to know. For the three damage artifacts, I'm going to break them down into three different categories. The first one's going to be mobbing, which is clearing out levels as fast as possible, and you want to kill as many mobs as fast as you can. And the best for that is the Harvester. All the changes for the Harvester will be in the top left of the screen while I'm using it, and I'll show you it mobbing on the move level. So with the Harvester's insane increase in damage, you can kind of just walk through levels like this. So you get the point. The Harvester is really good at mobbing, but it is the worst at bossing. Now let's get into the Corrupted Beacon. The Corrupted Beacon stats will also be in the top left of the screen. This item can be used for bossing and for mobbing. I'll show you both now. So as you can see, the Corrupted Beacon is pretty good at mobbing. It's not as good as the Harvester, but you can definitely use it. Now let's see how it does against the boss. As you can see, it's still pretty strong. Now you might be thinking that the Corrupted Beacon was really strong against the boss, but I think the Lightning Rod is way better and I'll show you why. The Lightning Rod had its base damage of 27,000 with a Gong and with a Soul Dancer Robe, it will be doing a ton of damage. Now the reason you don't use this for mobbing and you only use it for bossing is if you look, when you actually use the ability, its circle is very small, so if there's a group of mobs, it won't actually hit all of them. But what it does hit, it does a lot of damage too, so that's why I think it's really good against bosses. Now watch how fast this thing dies. as you can see the lightning rod is really really strong and now the last artifact that we're covering of souls is a soul healer i'm gonna go on to the moo level and take some damage and see how much the soul healer heals and how fast it does it so with a full soul bar you can expect to get six heals off as it's 50 per and there is 300 total so if i take some damage i can heal right there i have triple cooldown i'll keep that in mind so it's definitely shorter than five seconds but i'm just taking damage i can heal Still have, I haven't hit anything. I still have two more heals left if I want them. And now the last one. So it still is pretty good. And you're going to be gaining souls as you go. Killing things, using your other soul items. So that's going to be pretty good. For a build setup, you're going to want to go with something like this. Soul Fists are very good. Anima Conduit's very good. Soul Siphon, just to get you more souls. That's very strong. The Soul Dancer Robe is also really strong. And it gives you a 30% chance to negate hits, 50% more souls, and 50% more artifact damage. Now, this is the biggest thing, because 50% more artifact damage is huge. Lastly, the Crossbow. You're going to want basically any soul crossbow just to give you more souls. The one staple that I do see in the artifacts is definitely Boots of Swiftness, because you want to run the levels faster. And then the third artifact is your soul damage artifact. Now, if you're mobbing, trying to run through the level kill as much as possible, you're going to take the Harvester. You can use the Corrupted Beacon for anything. It will do just fine. And then if you're bossing, you want to take the Lightning Rod because it will absolutely melt the boss. If you need help getting 115 power level artifacts, click on my video. It's right next to the webcam. It'll show you how to get the 115 level artifacts to run this build as fast as possible. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this content or it was helpful. Leave a comment down below on what you want to see me do next and have a great day.